Hi, welcome to my channel, The IoT Dude. My name is Anas Akasha bin Abdul Batas, and in this video, I will show you how to turn on and off an LED light using Wi-Fi. And in this video, I will use Blink Apps as our application. So, without wasting any time, let's start. In this activity, we will try to turn on and off our LED using Blink as our application. In this project, we will use ESP8266, a microcontroller with a Wi-Fi module, and then we will use a breadboard to place our components in a circuit. And then lastly, we will use light emitting diode or LED for our indicator of output. This is a circuit diagram, you can post this video or screenshot for your own reference. Here is the circuit. For the codes or program in Arduino IDE, open Arduino IDE. Firstly, we define the blink serial. And then, we include the ESP8266 and blink library. For the first part to connect to the blink application, we insert our auth token in our Blink apps. Open your Blink apps. Create new project. Enter out the name of our project, which is turn on and off LED. Next, we select our hardware, which is not MCU. And then click create. So the auth token has been sent to our email. Open settings, set button name, and then choose our pin. If for Blink apps, we use virtual pins that we declared in our codes, which is V0. And then choose between push or switch function. Next, we label the on and off output. After we finish, we can just back. So let's continue with our auth token. Let's open our email. Click the email from Blink. As you can see here, the topic is our name of our project. And here is our auth token. So just copy and paste it in our codes. Let's continue with our code. After we insert our auth token, we insert uh, the username of our Wi-Fi and then the password of our Wi-Fi. Next, we define the LED pin which is D0. So in the void setup which process only happens once, we open our serial monitor and then we connect to Blink apps using auth token, SSID and password. Next, we define LED as an output. And then, for clothing with the Blink apps, the Blink connects with ESP8266 to V0. Then for the if loop, if the reading is V0, LED will turn on. Else, if the Blink reading is 1, the LED will turn off. So in the void loop, which the process only happens in a loop, we run our Blink application. So now we have completed our codes. Let's compile and upload our codes. Our codes has been uploaded. Let's test our Blink apps. Firstly, we need to test our connection from the Blink apps to the ESP8266. Blink apps is now completely connected with our 8266. Let's test our project. Our project works, we can now control our LED using our Blink apps. We have made our own IoT project. Go we'll try and do this project at home. Good luck!